Orbeck, celebrity fitness trainer, and I'm here with Vivian. Vivian, you're having some back pain? I've been having this back pain since third trimester, and now that I have the baby, I still feel the pain. What can I do to ease the pain? There are several things. In fact, that's not an uncommon frustration. When you consider the rapid weight shifts on your frame during those 40 weeks of pregnancy, the intense way childbirth affects your body, and the new bundle of joy you're carrying around in your arms, it's no wonder the back will sometimes feel that strain. Here are four gentle moves that will help stretch and strengthen the muscles that are attached to your spine. This will help ease some of that annoying pain. Be sure to maintain good breathing with consistent deep breaths throughout these stretches. Ready to get started? I'm ready. Good. So we're going to do the seated hamstring stretch first. So you're going to straighten one leg while the other leg stays bent. There you go. In that position with a nice tall frame, good consistent breathing, hinge forward as you feel a gentle stretch in that hamstring. Excellent. So you're going to want to hold this 10 to 30 seconds to really get something out of the stretch. Very good. Do you feel that? Yes. Wonderful. So let's move on. Good job. Nice neutral ankle, tall frame, hinge forward ever so gently. Good. So you just want to make sure you have a nice natural lower arch in your back as you do this stretch. Very good. Can you feel that too? Yes. Wonderful. Sitting up and I'll show you the next one. So it's a pigeon stretch. You're going to want to start on your hands and your knees. Good. Once you're in that position, extend out to a full strong plank. Great. One knee you're going to pull underneath your body as it rests underneath. Very good. And onto your elbows. Now take that back knee, lift it up off the ground, and take that flat body and just push it right into the glute to feel that stretch. How's that? I really feel it. <laughs> you should. It's very effective. Very good. So Vivian, return to your hands and back to plank. Excellent. And then switch to the other side. Very good. Onto your elbows. And keep that nice formation right there for at least a good 10 second hold. Wonderful. And then return onto your hands and knees. Good. Great, Vivian. So the next one is to remove your hands off the ground and roll your body up into a prayer position. Excellent. Take one leg and take a nice, big, strong step forward. Wonderful. With your posture upright, travel ever so slightly forward. There you go. Can you feel that? Yes, I feel it in my hip. Good, that's what we want. So you just want to be careful to keep that posture upright without traveling too far so the knee does not extend over the toe. That's great. Go ahead and switch up to the other side. Tall frame with a breath, ever so slightly travel forward. Very good. You want to hold these for at least 20 to 30 seconds as well. Very good, so return the knee. Then I'm going to show you the last one. You're going to want to lay flat on your back on the mat. This is a reverse bridge. It's really going to help you activate your glutes to keep them nice and strong. With your feet bent a little deeper, go ahead and lift your tailbone off the mat nice and high until you feel a full plank and then lower back to start position. Good form, good breathing, and keep going. Perfect, you should feel it the most intense and strong right at the top. That's exactly what you want, good posture. Good breathing, perfect form, Vivian. Last one. Great. So once you become a pro at these and it's not challenging enough, I recommend you use a five pound hand weight. You put it across your hips, hold it nice and snug, and then use that as new resistance. Can you feel it more with the extra weight? Definitely. It adds much more resistance and then more strength. Good form. Last repetition. Excellent, Vivian, allow me. So how do you feel? I feel great. Great, you did wonderful, you're all done. Having a baby doesn't mean you have to have a bad back too. Do these exercises at least a few times a week to help rebuild your back strength. So do you feel you could do these? Yes, I can fit this in my schedule when the baby's napping. Great idea, I know you can do it.